Radio Grade 11, it's time to get back to our pack task and I've uh, just compiled some kind of a mind map here that I would like to talk you through. So let's start first of all with what was given to you. I've given you a detailed task breakdown, you've received a pace setter, you've received a site plan detailing the different measurements and placements of uh, current buildings on that site, you've got a couple of drone photos and you have a recent Google map with the location of the new entrance gate. Then, with a design brief, uh, you've now spent time with coming up with a comprehensive list of specifications and constraints. And I think this year is critical for you to have read through the task and clearly listed all the things that's required uh, for you to think of in your design and also the things that's constraining you. And you need to understand your role, of course, in this process, and you need to word that in a paragraph or two for me. Okay, that's our design brief. Then we've gone on to our research, and I'm going to talk you through this. I've specified three categories, automotive ergonomics, access control and security, and current development aesthetics of the site. When we talk about automotive ergonomics, the questions you have to answer in your research will be things like, what are the sizes of a bus? What's the height of a bus? Of cars, the lane widths, the parking bay surrounding your area maybe, or the, the car waiting for the next car. You have to consider these elements because these will determine the size of your gates, the size of your uh, entrances, your exits, whether you will have two lanes or one lane, or how high will your roof be, etc. All of this is important information that I hope you've all researched on. The second thing is the access control and security. How, what mechanisms do you have in place to open those gates? Will it be sliding gates? Will it be um, flipping gates? Uh, will they retract? You need to have research what mechanisms you will be using. You have to think about your camera placements, um, how you will monitor uh, people coming in and out. How will you control their access? In other words, um, remember we said after hours, let's say we don't have uh, guards on duty. What's your answer? What's your solution? And how does this influence your actual design? And then also we thought you had to think about pedestrians wanting to enter the, the, and exit the, the campus. Uh, vehicles, how do you regulate these? They're separate from each other. Some might come even in, um, on bicycles or scooters. So, so how do you regulate all of that? The other thing is the guardhouse. Um, you have two guards that's going to be on duty here. What's the adequate size of their um, office area? What's the correct size of their bathroom, their kitchenette? You need to think about that and also research about that. Then the layout of what's going to be the most effective layout for them to be able to monitor the entrance and the exit at the same time, uh, have access to both sides. How do you do that layout? Uh, where do you position the bathroom? Where do you position the kitchenette, their office desk, etc.? These are all things that you should research when you're thinking about the guardhouse. Then uh, the third item is a current development aesthetics. That's the current campus. You've all been there. So a good uh, idea is to take your camera and walk around. Take pictures of the materials that's used, the bricks, the, the stones. Um, what's the colors that's used? What finishes are done? Where is it plastered? What is not plastered? Um, what's the concrete finishes, etc. Have a look at that. Take pictures of that because whatever you are doing to design needs to fit in with the current aesthetics of that campus. What construction methods, methods were used? What type of roofing? Um, there's log homes. There's brick houses. There's different things, I think, to consider here to ensure that your design fits in. So once you've done all of this research, that all plots then the design brief, the research, all of that plots to your summary. And I always say to learners, make a summary at the end of your research. That just highlights for you the most important parts of uh, what you need to consider when doing your concepts. It gives you, gives you understanding and it helps you to be clear on what you will design. So even if you discuss this with someone, you know, share it with someone, um, or even make notes of that, but 
it helps you to have understanding what you're going to design because this in the end is going to be your two concepts or, or influence your two concepts. So you need to provide for us, and I'll run you through some of them now, but a concept, each concept must fulfill at least this requirements. Of course, you'll have to have a border and a title block. It's all freehand, concepts are done freehand, and there will be a little bit of a site plan just to position, show the position of your gate. You'll have to do a freehand of the floor plan, but you still need, need to use sun symbols, measurements, etc. standards. I'll talk through that now. You'll have to one, do at least one freehand elevation to show us the front view of this. And it's optional for you to do a pictorial view. And then at the end of that, each one of these concepts must be evaluated with positives and negatives. So let me show you a couple of um, previous uh, concepts just for interest sake. Okay, this is the zoomed out view of um, a concept done by one of my prior students. Now you can see here on the left hand side, we just basically have a basic site plan. It shows the north arrow, it's labeled, it shows the position of the current buildings. And in that, those years the entrance were on the left hand side, remember, your entrance is now, there's actually a road added that wasn't here then. So you need to take one of those drone photos almost and just do a, 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 a overview, very uh, free and the uh, site plan on the top left hand side. And then you can do a floor plan. Now this floor plan lacks quite a couple of details that I think is important. You can see here the toilet is not a sun's toilet, right? The, the basin not according to sun's. There's no hatching on the walls, the measurements aren't done correctly, the entrance exit isn't clearly labeled. So this would be a very poor example of what is expected. You'll have to uh, give me a bit more details than this. Uh, they've done at least the windows and the doors, but that's the floor plan. So you need a floor plan, I need to be able to see the entrance exit. You can even have maybe walls on the side. And then there's a, a, a elevation. You have to pick an elevation here. You can see they've used the boom here. There's the two roofs um, of your um, waiting areas for the guards uh, and it's labeled. And then there's, of course, a optional nice 3D view of the gate that you can put. And this really gives a good impression of what is expected. And then, of course, uh, your notes and how you evaluated your design. So this is one example. Let me show you another one. Okay, here, this isn't an entrance gate, but um, similar in, 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 in what is expected. Okay, it's again a site plan here, and this time the new part on that site plan was colored in red, which is correct. Um, and then the floor plan, and here you can see a bit more of the detail and the accuracy, the correct symbols used here, sun symbols, uh, the walls are hatched. This is still free and but it's done to a, a better quality. One mistake that I have recognized here is the measurements. Uh, remember we're using millimeters so that should read 4,000, 5,000, 5,000. Um, okay so this isn't an uh, interest gate necessary but it's clear uh, for you just to show you some details. And then again the elevation and this child uh, opted to do their 3D in on a computer and that's going to be fine remember this is only optional so you're welcome to do that on a computer they've added a second elevation which is also well and they've really gone and do a, did a quality um, title block you don't have to do full civil title block as this but uh, you can see a very neat quality high standard free and drawings let me show you a, another one this also isn't the entrance gate but i'll just focus on um, this floor plan here, lots of detail, even in setting the lighting, the square meters, etc. So these are some ideas of um, concepts. Um, you have a better idea now what is expected. And uh, I do want to urge you to move forward on this uh, as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. This is then part two of your uh, designing of your entrance gate for the GLA Eco Campus. Thank you for watching.